Mo, great to see you. Um, it's been a few years since yes. I've seen you. It's fair to say you've been a busy man, <laughs> busy man in those few years. Uh, I'll start with Chelsea. Just tell me your thoughts on your time there. I learned a lot from Jose, from the club. We meet each other in Chelsea. I was even with you because you always train alone after the training. I always come to you. I saw you do that. I, I came always with you to, to, to improve myself. But, you know, I learned a lot there, to be honest. I just was young, then I didn't have my chance. That's what I can say about the time. I always, as a player, thought maybe I can go and try a different country because you grow as a man. So do you think that's part of the new confident man we see here now? <laughs> yes, to the be honest, of... yes, to be honest, I said to myself, I need to, to change everything. I need to change the culture, I need to change the football. So that's the time to go outside England. It's hard work. I always try to improve, but when I came here, I had also two great seasons in Rome. Everyone told me, no, don't change. The Premier League is difficult for you. But it's always in my mind to come back. And I came back, I proved them wrong. In terms of the awards, you're winning every day. <laughs> when I read the newspaper, <laughs> another award. <laughs> one, one of them is the African Player of the Year. Yeah. You've taken Egypt, not just you, but you played a huge part. Five goals in qualifying and five games. Penalty in the 94th minute. <laughs> First time Egypt at a World Cup since 1990. Is that... One of your proudest achievements? Yes. When I see the people after the game, how happy they are, it's, it's something different for me. But the African player of the year, I saw it when I was like 10 years, 11 years. It was, yeah. it was like a huge dream to be African player of the year. People are talking about the Ronaldo Salah final. The fact that we are saying that, that statement, you, are, you have taken yourself to that level, and you have. The numbers speak for themselves. It must feel incredible for you, your achievement. Yeah, to be honest, I feel great about the numbers, about everyone is talking about Ronaldo or Messi because they are that in, in that level like 15 years or 13 years. So I'm very proud to see myself just comparing the, with the names. But, you know, as I said, it's, it's a final game. It's not about uh, Salah or Ronaldo or someone else. It's about the clubs. What I know and what I have in my mind is I don't want to just put pressure, too much pressure on myself because I want to perform that in that level again and again and again. In the Champions League this year, we've seen crazy goals, turn changes in games that we didn't expect. What can we expect from the final? They won it like three times the last four years, so they have experience in the final. But, you know, we just need to, to, to fight to do what we are doing and... It's only one game, it's not two games, it's only one game. So we have to give 100% from what we have, then I'm sure the result was, will be good for us. It's been a pleasure speaking Thank to you. It's uh, been great watching this season um, and you're a gentleman. Thank you. And I wish you all the best in Thank the you. Cup final. Thank you very Cheers, much. Thank you. Thanks very Cheers much, mate. Thank you. Thank you.